Just got this in. So this is the UPS6 or the Ultra Power S6 one cell LiPo charger. And I've been using this thing every single day to charge my 1S batteries. And I'm gonna tell you why I like it so much. So to start off, as you can see here, this thing has six charging channels. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. You got six individual charging channels. Not charging in parallel, but rather charging individually. So that's really, really great. It means you don't have to worry about making sure your LiPo batteries are all the same voltage, and you don't necessarily need to worry about making sure they're all the same size either, or relatively around the same size. So that's wonderful to have individual charging channels all the way up to one amp of charge per channel. Now the other thing that's wonderful about this is that it comes with all the common connectors on each channel that you could want right now. So to start off, you got your micro, uh, micro lossy connector, that's your classic SEMA X5C1 connector, and Next up, you've got the um, MX or the Micro JST connector, typical of Tiny Whoop batteries. I've got a Kados Micromotor battery here and, uh, you know, MyLipo.de battery. So every single port comes with the standard connectors that are really being used today for Tiny Whoops and other toy gray quads. And then finally, I guess the last connector is the one that's been more popular lately when it comes to a uh, tiny whoop like like quadcopters and that is the JST PH 2.0 connector and I'll charge batteries just like this one and it'll also charge batteries from like the Furby F36 or this little JJRC battery here so Again, I'm really, really happy that all the common connectors that I'm using, that most hobbyists are using when it comes to one cell batteries, are already on the charger. No need to worry about adapters or anything else. You have the three top connectors right out of the gate. So on the sides, we've actually got a convenient little 5 volt, 2.1 amp USB port for charging a phone if you or anything else if you so choose. And now this side actually has the ways that you can power this. So this is not only a charger that you can hook up to a 12 volt power brick. You can also hook it up to a four cell battery or under. And that means it's a field charger. You can actually charge in the field with this. So I'm really, really impressed with that as well. But for this uh, review, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in with my adapter. It takes a DC 9 to 15 volt adapter. I just pulled the uh, 12 volt adapter from my IMAX B6. So if you've got an IMAX B6 charger lying around and you got the adapter, it'll work just fine on this little guy. All right, so let's go over the controls. They're actually really basic and that's a, both a good and a bad thing. So let me first go over the uh, how this works. So if you want to change the amperage of this, you just flick through the button like that. So now what does this mean? It doesn't mean that the whole thing charges at one amp. It means that each individual charging channel is sending one amp to each and every single one. Yes, that means you cannot configure amps per channel. It's an all or nothing kind of deal which is both a good and a bad thing because it does sim simplify the control, but at the same time, it would be nice to be able to say, you know, have 0.5 amps on this channel, 0.3 amps on that channel. Unfortunately, they just didn't make it an option. But that being said, uh, most of the batteries that I charge personally are all at about the same amount of capacity. So, you know, I've got a whole bunch of these nitro nectars here and they're two 10 milliamp per hour. Uh, this is another one of a different brand, 200, five milliamp per hours. And again, this is a Kados micromotor battery. That's another, you know, 200, 10 milliamp per hours. So basically, uh, for me, depending on the model I'm flying, I'm not really worried about that. I'm gonna put all, put all my tiny whoop batteries on there and they're gonna be about the same. I'm, I'm gonna wanna charge them all at about the same amperage. So it's not really that big of a deal. It's just something I'd like to see in the future uh, if they make another one of these. We're on 0.3 amps right now. I, I wanna show you the next bit of controls. Really, really simple here. So if you hold down this button, you're gonna see A and dash P. Now what this means is all ports are regular LiPo. Now what does that mean? 
So by default, this thing is set to regular LiPo, but the LIHV is a new popular uh, type of battery that you can get, especially for the tiny whoops. It lets you charge each battery up to 4.35 volts, so you get a lot more punch, a lot more power. This thing supports charging LIHV batteries. So if you want it, you can change that by port on a port by port basis. So as you can see here, I can switch all ports to be high voltage and that if you let it sit, now all the ports are high voltage. You don't, you don't want to use high voltage unless you actually have a battery that can be charged to 4.35 volts or 4.3 volts per, uh, for the one cell or else you will cause problems. So please don't uh, try to charge using a high voltage port. So now I've set this, I'm gonna set them all back to regular old LiPo. And again, it's individually configurable. So like, let's say I want this port number one to be P or port number two. So I want to set port number two to be a high voltage port. Let's say I want to set one, two, and three to be that. You just hold down, press, select, select the uh, type of battery you want, and boom, it sets it up. And it actually is lit up to show you which is the high voltage port and which one isn't. See, see how it's blinking there? I set the high voltage port to number two. So you're not guessing, oh, well, wait a minute. I forgot which one I set to be the high voltage LiPo port. It's blinking. The rest of them will not blink. So I'm gonna go ahead and change number two back to just a regular old P. And there you go. We should be back to regular old P in just a second. And that's pretty much it for the control to this thing. There's really nothing to it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start charging some batteries just to show you guys how this works. So I'm gonna plug in this little SEMA battery here. And that's it, it just starts charging. There's nothing to worry about. All right, so now I'm gonna plug in the charger for the Tiny 7 or the battery for the Tiny 7. That's this drone here in case you uh, wanna see how, uh, if you're looking for a charger for that one. So I'm gonna plug that in right now. And now we've got port number two going. Again, I changed that for, to be back to a regular old LiPo, not an LIHV. Now we got one's at 3.74 and the other one is at 4.07. So again, you don't have to worry about the current capacity of any of these LiPos when you plug them in. You can just do whatever the heck you want. I'm gonna plug in this little uh, mylipo.de battery. And that should start charging. Also a really good Tiny Whoop battery brand, the MyLipo brand. But yeah, we're charging on that one now too. So we got three batteries charging. Let's go to the back. I'm gonna get this juiced up with a little more batteries. And here we go, let's plug this one in. Again, let's just throw another uh, nitro nectar. Let's throw nitro nectar on the charger here. So this thing is fully loaded. All loaded up batteries. Charging up a storm. Ah, this stupid battery keeps falling up. Stay plugged in. So that's it. That is the UPS6 Ultra Power S6 1S battery charger. With the winter coming, definitely gonna be spending, at least in North America, more time inside, flying, you know, your whoop drones, like the Tiny 6, like the Tiny 7, and when you buy a bunch of batteries, you want an easy way to charge them, and this is absolutely one of the best chargers you can get for charging these types of batteries because it is such a no hassle unit. You just plug it in, you start charging. There's no fiddling around with your, uh, you know, maybe more advanced charger that you want to reserve for charging the big stuff that you have or other types of things. You know, before this, I was actually using this board here, and this is the parallel charge board, and you had to make sure that all the batteries were about the same voltage and about the same size, and it took up, you know, it took up an important port on my uh, IMAX B6 or my HiTech X2 AC Pro charger. You know, with this, I just have a dedicated one cell battery charger now, and I couldn't be more than happy. And when you're done, it uh, it'll beep, it'll beep twice, light will go green, 
and you'll be ready to just grab it. With this, funny thing about this, and this is just maybe unique to this little stupid balance board, is when it was done, if I didn't take it off right away, this little light, there's a little light here that wouldn't shut off. I know it sounds insignificant, but uh, the light will actually drain the battery from the battery, so I'd actually have to rejuice them all up to make sure they were all the same voltage again. So this has just solved such a huge problem of convenience for me by having it. All right, so that's it, guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And as always, have a great day, guys. I am going to go do some tiny whooping.